Hi guys, quick video on why I'm not a fan of the weighing scale. So I'm about 5'10", 5'11", um, and I weigh about 17 stone. Now if we just look, simply look at that as an amount I weigh, um, then I come under the category of obese. Um, and people say it's because of BMI and things like that. The trouble is, guys, that I like to think, or I have worked for many, many years, on building some muscle mass. By having muscle mass, the muscle weighs more than fat. So when you lose fat but gain muscle, you might find yourself actually weighing more than you did when you started. What you need to do, guys, is get yourself a measuring tape and get yourself uh, tested properly with things like body fat, uh, hydration levels, um, yes BMI as well as an overall look, um, and your weight, have your pounds gone up, have your pounds gone down, but a much wider way of looking at it. What you want to avoid is purely going by what gravity says that you weigh. Uh, if you're working really hard, it can be really derail your results. Uh, if you suffer from any kind of body dysmorphia, so if you look in the mirror one day you feel good, the next day you look in the mirror you feel bad, but your weight hasn't changed, um, if you do your weighing scales and you say you've gained three pounds, but you've gained more muscle, then your mind will perceive that as you have gained more fat or you'll look at the bad things. So what you want to try to do, guys, is to once a month, at least once a month, get yourself fully tested, get a measuring tape, measure your shoulders, measure your chest, measure three layers of your stomach, top, middle, bottom, uh, measure your butt, your quads, your calves, all of those areas, and keep a, a note or a track of each of those. There are a couple of apps you can use for those, okay, guys? Um, <clears throat> but the best thing I find is just keeping a notepad or a stats table for yourself. Um, yes, do your stones and pounds. Yes, do your kilograms, your pounds, everything like that. But you want to make sure that you're looking at those measurements, you're doing your body fat percent, you're doing your body muscle percent, and you're seeing the muscle going up and the fat going down. Thanks guys, have a good day.